Hello, my name is Louise Adams and I'm the Group Chief Operating Officer for the global engineering and advisory firm Oricon. From an early age, I always wanted to be an engineer. I believed I could make the world a better place through designing solutions to complex problems. I've been very fortunate off the back of my studies to blend my career with opportunities to travel, having lived and worked on almost every continent and being involved in amazing infrastructure projects across many industries. Most of my career highlights have involved working in developing countries, such as the time I spent working on the redevelopment of the Lahore Walled City in Pakistan as part of the Aga Khan Historic Cities Redevelopment Program, or when I worked in Georgetown, Guyana with the UNDP, project managing short-term relief work following significant floods that wiped out much of their water and drainage infrastructure. In both cases, these projects gave me an opportunity to work with local community groups and make a real difference not only with the immediate impact of the improvements that were made to the infrastructure, but in developing lifelong skills and capabilities and building capacity within those communities to empower their futures. I've spent almost all my career with Oricon and have been well supported on my journey by a number of leaders and mentors. I've grown particularly passionate about attracting more women into engineering and increasing the diversity of leadership in the infrastructure industry. For me, I have achieved a lot of firsts throughout my career. I was Oricon's first female executive board director, first female managing director, first female chief executive, and now first female COO. And to me, it is important that I'm not the last. I feel I have a role to play as a visible role model, both inside Oricon, but also across industry and show young women what exciting opportunities exist in the world of engineering and infrastructure development. Ironically, I was living in the Pilbara when I completed my studies at Deakin, so I did the whole course online. And back then, Deakin was seen as an early adopter on, of online learning, allowing them to become eminent in this space. And no doubt Deakin's ongoing investment into maintaining themselves as a leader in virtual learning has provided a highly differentiated experience to current Deakin students in what has been an incredibly challenging 18 months. I'd like to start by thanking the Alumni Committee. It is a genuine privilege and I am very grateful to be recognised as one of Deakin University's Alumni of the Year in 2021. I would also like to thank my family, my husband, Adrian, my son, James, and my two stepdaughters, Samantha and Katie. It is fair to say it would be very hard to achieve all that I have without their relentless support and encouragement along the way. And then to Oricon for the ongoing support and opportunities they have given me throughout my career. I believe that we live in a complex and challenging world and our experience through 2020 and now in 2021 has surely taught us the importance of a lifelong commitment to learning and adapting Opportunities exist through Deakin University to find something you're passionate about and to commit to learning and developing additional skills. My time at Deakin opened up a world of opportunities which have allowed me to go forward and make an impact in my chosen career. And for this, I will always be very appreciative. I look forward to connecting with my fellow award winners, each of whom have had incredible achievements in their chosen industries. I'm very humbled to be recognized alongside such inspiring people. Thank you.